Hello. Hey. Me. You are? I'm Steve. And what have you been doing for the uh, last couple of hours and change? I've been painting a blue line and, and slightly turning right for the last about three hours or so. And why have you been turning right? We're, we're creating this amazing labyrinth in, in Eglinton Park. Um, we think maybe the biggest one in, in Toronto, diameter-wise. Um, waiting pool. Waiting pool, I should say. Um, yeah, so that's what we've been we've been doing. So we're almost done, and this is what's left. This one circuit. Uh, how do you feel? I feel so relaxed. It's an amazing night. It's one of the you know one of the first nights um, of 2015 where you can be comfortably in a t-shirt and shorts and the sun setting, and it's a beautiful night in, in Toronto. While you were doing this, what was your experience? There was sounds and people it, it, it was um, it was it was really relaxing I didn't actually make eye contact with anybody I was just so focused on this one task but I had this amazing kind of symphony of, of voices there were young kids and parents and baseballs and bouncing balls and, and frisbees it was yeah a symphony of sounds you were telling me this is the first time you believe that you've been in this park? I've never been in this park before. Been yeah. this park. I've, I've been by many times. I mean, even when I entered the park, I thought that it ended at the community center. And uh, I thought I was lost. And then there's this huge, vast green space um, is, that I've mm -hmm. never been into before. It is a lot of space. So the blue and the red and the colors, uh, somehow going back and forth we arrived at this idea of alternating and I think it worked v well, it, it feels it was the right, uh, what was meant to be perhaps. No, I think I agree. I. Um... There's a there's a bit of a bit of patterning at the beginning, and then it kind of starts getting a little bit more, I guess, complicated. And then you kind of return to the center, and you have this nice ending of, of a nice dark red to arrive at. And um, and then as you as you exit the labyrinth on the, on the way out, you're gonna go from that that one you know red circle in the middle, going through a little bit of confusion to a bit of symmetry, and then finally again, one massive red uh, lap on the edge. So it's a nice, like, nice three stages as well, just similar to like how one walks a, a labyrinth too, right? Yes. So. Well, I'm, I'm very appreciative, Steve. And uh, how did you find an inspiration to just send me a little message and, and ask I think what happened is that I was biking by and some of the ones that I, I've noticed and have come to appreciate in the Grange and in Christie Pitts, uh, in, in Trinity Bellwoods, they were getting a little bit more worn and I, part of me was a bit concerned because I, I was scared that the Labyrinth project had ended. So I wanted to to reach out to see if, if it was in fact still going and if there was a way to keep the ones that are around maintained and, and to maybe add to the collection that already exists. I was I was down to to help. If people power was the problem, I said, then then here's a person. Yes, and I'm very glad that as a as a as your friend that that you uh, sent me that message. Is uh, I'm I'm actually quite tired, but this will get done. And uh, on behalf of the Toronto City of Labyrinth project, which is really just me. <laughs> And today it is Steve as well. Um, I, uh, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Amy. And now, forevermore, you are a labyrinth maker. I love it. <laughs>